Hello and welcome to today's ECAC matches. I'm your play-by-play -play caster, Matt. And I'm your uh, color caster, Jimmy. And today we will be taking a look at New Jersey City U uh, University going up against Central Methodist University. So today for NJCU's team, we will be having Mark in the top lane, Paco in the mid lane, Chuki is the ADC, Avery is the support, and KP is the jungler. And uh, while you're here, waiting for the games to get started, don't forget to check out the NJCU Esports uh, accounts on Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. At NJCU Esports on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all your NJCU Esports needs. I like that. Yeah. So what are we expecting to see here today, Jimmy? I know we know a little bit about the NJCU team. We got the starting roster, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard a little bit of a rumor about some potential Wukong play from a reliable caster <laughs> uh, named Jimmy. So <laughs> yeah, so so uh, I've played with a bunch of the NJCU teams before, impartially. Um <laughs> It was all very <laughs> impartial playing. I don't like yeah. or dislike any of them. I'm quite neutral, actually, to the whole ordeal. <laughs> yeah, you are. Um, no, I meant uh, you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, top lane, probably going to see uh, not a carry. Uh, I know that's very vague, but uh, it, it, he, uh, Mark in the top lane likes to play a lot more of a team-oriented champion. Mm. He, he's the one that kind of uh, top lane islands I see. And uh, basically just waits till uh, team fight phase of the game. I see. Or, well, you could uh, still pick something like a little Pantheon for that, or if you wanted to go because Pantheon, you know, has the option to roam around and is also extremely safe on his own. You could also get maybe something more of a split push oriented character that's got a decent team fight phase, but... Yeah, uh, we might, however, see. I know he's been working on a kale. I don't. Th Ooh, the kale, the out. hyper carry top lane might get yeah. busted out. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. Um, but uh, I, I know he's been practicing kale a little more often. So maybe we'll get to see that today. That would, that would genuinely surprise me if he decides to play that today, or rather, uh, if his team lets him play it today. <laughs> Getting let to play Kale is really how Kale picks happen in, in full groups, yeah. and often usually at great protest, especially in my experience as an AD carry player by the AD carry, because that's my farm and not yours. Exactly. Uh, and, and Kale just hoovers it up. Oh my god. Yeah, Kale eats up farm, I know, especially especially I when she gets that I second transformation. AD. True. True. Uh, so I've also I'm also looking at the AD because uh, last week when I saw the game, um, Chuki, fantastic. He played really well. Uh, him and the support really played like excellently. Like they had really good synergy. Uh, and I'm just looking at his match history to see what he's been playing recently. I'm probably going to see either Tristan or Kaisa at some point. And that doesn't surprise me. Kaisa dominating the AD carry meta right now. Yeah. Jin also Ka quite strong. Uh, Jin is really strong Kaisa right now. Just, Kaisa's damage, team fight, ability, like just ability to maneuver both aggressively and for safety is just out of this world. <laughs> yeah. And so so from what from what I've seen, uh um from what I've seen, uh Kaisa, Kaisa does a lot of damage in a team fight, but where she really excels is uh, when the enemy teams start uh, retreating from a fight. Oh yeah, her her ulti ch and chase potential with her E mm -hmm. uh, is insane. Yeah. The ability to um, the ability to to be able to chase down champions like that secure uh, those long distance kills. Yeah, either with the W or the, the you know the ult, yeah. and oh man, if if you get the upgraded Q and you so get 12, the yeah, you get yeah, it's twelve the missiles. They, they, you, anyone would die to that, and especially because they apply on hit effects, which I've only learned recently. So <laughs> yeah, uh, they do, they do apply on hit, and then especially with the Kaisa build right now being like an early Gale Force, because every AD carry builds an early Gale, for, Gale Force. Getting that upgraded Eon Kaisa, giving you the speed boost with invisibility, your ult allowing you to reposition in team fights or chase down kills, while also granting you a shield, 
and the ability to gale force forward or away for bonus damage or repositioning. Kaisa is just such an absurdly safe pick because even if your team fight is not going well, you have so many ways to just pull the cord and get out. Or to just stay in position. We <laughs> are transitioning here to the pick ban phase. It seems like CMU gets the first ban with CMU playing blue side and NJCU playing red side. I am excited to see what they ban here. I'm actually really excited to see what NJCU bans here because I do not know too much about CMU. NASA's um, ban. NASA's ban? I know it already. From CMU or from NJCU? No, no, NJCU. Uh, no ban. Man. Wait. I is don't that know that if means? that was on purpose. Um, I think they ran the clock. No, they did, and I don't know if that was intentional. Uh, but we are seeing a no ban and a Kha'Zix ban. Now, Kha'Zix, of course, is a great ban here. Extremely powerful jungle right now who can snowball games out of this world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, not I. So I wouldn't say he's the strongest, but I do. No, I do know that uh, that a lot of people struggle to to deal with a Kha'Zix, and that that alone might be reason enough for a ban. One of Kha'Zix's only losing matchups is Udyr, which is potentially why we've seen Udyr climb so high into the meta lately. Jin uh, ban. Jin ban. That makes sense. Jin is a, a lane bully, and with the right support, can just dominate a lane. Uh, and the team fight potential just absolutely popping your uh, your team's carries with that fourth final crit shot, guaranteed crit, and just a long range presence of your W for a root and your ultimate for just four shots of incredible damage. The Jin ban tracks, and now, that's uh, surprising. And but I don't know if the CMU top laner plays more. So, and we just got an update that the first ban uh, is not actually a, a, a no ban. It's actually Zed. Oh, it's Zed. Okay. Yes. That uh, that makes more sense. And the Kaisa ban, of course, this is smart. Now they are targeting, um, they yeah, are yeah, targeting yeah. NG, NJCU's bot laner here, and I wonder if that'll make NJCU sort of prioritize a first round AD carry sort of support duo pick. Yeah. Just so they fear that more gets yeah. either that or so they can counter pick whatever it comes with. Okay. So the Zed bit. Now, I don't know if Paco, the mid laner for NJCU, plays Zed a lot, but Zed is, of course, a terrifying character. <laughs> yeah, Zed, Zed is just a pain to deal with. We saw the Nautilus hover for a second there. Is, is that what went through? It, it's appearing blank again. Uh, I am at, I'm gonna just assume for now that it was the Nautilus ban, and Nautilus is always a safe ban. Nautilus can, Nautilus controls the lane way too hard. Uh, True, it, especially uh, early. A pick first from CMU. Wow, that's that's bold. That that is <laughs> that very is bold. bold. Uh, Jinx is not super high in the ADC meta right now. Not terrible. We are seeing the Zillion hover. But the Jinx the and the lock Zillion in. pick, the Zillion lock in, I, I'm wondering if that's going to go support. Now, we know that the support for NJCU does like to play some Zillion, but Zillion is also flexible to the mid lane. Uh, mm. And so they could be early picking it just to sort of keep it open. Hmm. But the Jinx is interesting. She has some bad matchups. A oh, no. A Volibear. <laughs> the Jinx going to have some trouble. The Jinx, yeah, the, the ability of Volibear, especially if it's in the jungle, to just chase down an AD carry, land a stun, and once that Volibear hits level 6 and gets his ultimate, the ability to just jump on an enemy tower with that ultimate and completely turn it off makes the threat of an early game dive that would not otherwise be possible super scary. Ooh, Ooh dear. dear. That's... Now we've... This is a good pick right now. Ooh, dear is... Ooh dear is top tier jungler i i he's so strong I, i've been playing him jimmy and and the ari pick for mid lane ari always a safe controlling mage could be played a little more assassin but the udir jimmy you'll be level five with like boots and a kindle gem and your ult like your phoenix form will do like 20 percent of an enemy <laughs> champion's health yeah it is it, it's crazy. crazy uh i i actually think he's better than pantheon jungle right now and I still think Pantheon Jungle's really strong right now, but that's a different thing. Now, I, I'm curious... <laughs> that is a different thing. That's true. <laughs> Unless we see a Pantheon pickup here, uh, no, we see Silas. Silas and the misfortune ban or ban. And the, no hover. The, the hover, the ban. That would be odd, given that 
the oh, key. Yeah, there's okay, they're, they're just... Uh, so uh, something I wanted to note on the Ari is I wonder if he's going to go the the uh, Everfrost Ari build. Oh, that's an interesting Where, where it's, it's more it's more about um, not doing damage, but basically slowing for the team. And that would yeah, work just really well slow. against an Udyr. Leona Ben, safe That band. makes sense. Jinx Leona, a classic lane. It's been good in League of Legends since Jinx came out. It's never a bad <laughs> matchup. Uh, or a never a bad pairing with the Jinx, and it's hard to deal with the lockdown. You have the Leona root into stun into Jinx trap root. I mean, that is just a whole lot of CC. Leona is just such a pain, especially for a zillion because zillion doesn't have a great way to peel outside of landing the stun and a Zyra ban. Also understandable. Understandable. That does lead me to believe that CMU is expecting the zillion to be flexible or potentially even go mid. Um, yeah. I think they're. I think CMU is banning as if the Zillion is going mid, or at least just ensuring that they're covering their bases just in case. Yeah. Right. Uh, the, or, I would or maybe say they're that, trying to force the flex. You know, say, maybe. Hey, you don't get to pick. And an Orn ban. An Orn ban. Now Orn is quite strong with the mythic items. With the item changes, the abilities. So many of the items that Orn can upgrade are now core early build items for a lot of these champions. And so banning out that Orn. And taking away the option of, first of all, an extremely strong teamfight engage and a very solid lane phase from the Orn. Also taking away the option for those upgraded items later on in the game for the rest of the team. He, the Orn has lost some value since they changed, uh, oh, it's a missing ban again, or. I don't um, think it's a miss, it's another blank. Yeah. Uh. So I, uh, what I was going to say was uh, Orn has lost some value just because uh, he can only it's, it's limited to one item per person now. He can only upgrade the Mythics and the Mythics are only one per person. Um, so someone did set, tell us in chat that the, it is an MF instead of Silas, but I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means that that is actually... Did they, did they pick MF instead of Silas? I don't know. But we do see a, T T a Talia pick here, and I imagine that Talia is going to be going in the jungle. Talia, one of yeah, the strongest jungles right now. Mm -hmm. Easy, easily. Talia or Talia? I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> Talia, say we'll Talia. call it Talia. Uh, and that Velkaz, I assume, is going in the support role, unless they're busting out the forbidden tech of Ari's support. Ari's... And then Malawi top lane to round oh. it out. Now, this is a pretty strong team fighting comp from CMU. Right, they don't have the best engage. Their engage comes down to Udir stun, uh, an Ari charm, or like a good Velkaz knockup. But once that team fight gets started, the Alawi AOE ultimate with the AOE from Velkaz, Ari, uh, Udir, uh, and then just Jinx's raw damage output is just insane. Yeah, and I think it's a good oh, the Wukong lock in, understandable. Uh, I, I we mentioned that before that that was going to happen. Or might happen. Now, but I, I, assume I actually that means that that Silas is a misfortune. Otherwise, there would be no. <laughs> yeah, it is a it is a misfortune okay. instead of a Silas. Okay, that makes sense to me. Now that is a pretty good comp, and that also that's not bad team fight there. No, it's, it's, that, it's super good. Yeah, again, and they do have some pretty solid engage. The Wukong's ability to jump in uh, an ultimate is really great for setting up those zillion bomb combos and that misfortune ult. Yeah, and, and I think for the most part, they're going to be relying on the MF ult to really come and clutch for these team fights. I will I will say the CMU comp uh, is pretty good. I like that the they have the, the poke of the Velkai's, but yes. also the ability to deal with their uh, NJCU's potential team fight when if and when it does happen. This does seem like it's going to be a game that comes down to team fights. Both teams seem to want to have a, a good uh, engage potential. Oh, I see. What's the worst that could happen? Okay, so 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 Oops. our production is just going to go through all the okay. bans and such. It seems, but they didn't ban Kazix or Jinx. Well, they didn't ban Jinx. They picked Jinx last time. So oh, there we go. Confused. Now it's gone. Okay, it is gone now. I see what's happening. So right now we're just waiting for the spectator delay. Yes, and that is a great time 
to talk about, like we were saying, that Velkos poke is going to be pretty lethal, especially in the bot lane. Now, Misfortune has a lot of move speed, but doesn't have that kind of raw dash or blink ability to really quickly get out of the way of an incoming skill shot. Good mm -hmm. positioning from Misfortune can sort of mitigate a lot of that, but Misfortune and Zillion are both fairly squishy early on, and so any little bit of that Velkos poke coming through is going to be extremely painful uh yeah uh njcu's team fight is going to be the very clear front back uh front to back system tanks in the front the classic the yeah the, the well, way the way most people would... bruisers in the front really <laughs> and then everyone yeah, really not tanks okay so now we have okay now they uh they're putting the proper bands in we're just I seeing see. it again so that's great. So we do see the Zed band and the Kha'Zix band, as we already talked about. Yeah. Now, the, um, the Kha'Zix band makes a lot of sense. Now, I don't I quite know if Taka plays a lot, like I said, a whole heck of a lot of Zed. But, I mean, even if they're just, like, not 100% or it's just something that is worrisome. You just hate... Uh, not a lot of... I don't see a lot of Zeds anymore, but... <laughs> Whenever they it, come up, it's not fun. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really not. The yeah. the ability to die to dive under tower and, and really not be punished for it, uh, it's frustrating. Uh, it's very it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating. And then we did see the two ADC bands coming out from CMU, again focusing on Chuki, trying to get Chuki maybe off of the comfort picks. And we did speculate on a little bit of a Tristana pick, which we did not end up seeing. Uh, but the MF is not a bad pick. Uh, paired with the Zillion, the ability to slow into stuns, uh, into ultimates, or just the just the raw damage. Because we did talk about how MF and Zillion are squishy early on uh, for that Velkaz, but we have to mention that Velkaz is also a really, really squishy low HP mage. And any one of those stray misfortune double taps, that Q that comes off of a minion hitting that Velkaz. It's not going to be a good day for the Velkaz, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, it, it really isn't. Um, <clears throat> so, in, classically, the way to deal with poke is uh, all-ins. Uh, that's typically how you deal with poking. Uh, you you all-in them before they can poke you down. However, in NJCU's bot lane, we don't see an all-in sort of comp. We see a, a basically farm lane uh, from NJCU, which I don't think is a problem, but when you have a Velkaz as the support, it can be uh, it can be a little rough to farm properly. It can, and especially Jinx is so good at shoving waves, and the Velkaz AoE just coming in and hitting everything does make it very difficult to push against. Oh, now, okay. I'm assuming so those summoners are going to change. Maybe, yeah. yeah I, I, maybe okay. they'll... that was frightening for a brief moment. Um, yeah, uh, though the devil exhaust cleanse. Excuse we might now, have to. We might have to change up what we said. It, it, from what I'm seeing, the Talia is mid, and the and it is bear. it is a mid Talia. That's true. Um, not that I really. I, I, actually, now that I think about it, I, I wouldn't have ever expected the Volibear to go mid. But well, the Wukong potentially, but even still, uh, we also see here. I mean, that first of all, cleanse on Velikaz. Very worried, I assume, about the, uh, unless that changes, about those double zillion bombs. Yeah, and they're just so easy to hit. They really are. Comes level 3 and level 2 even. And we do, however, see another important note here, Jimmy, is that NJCU is running two teleports, on their one on their top, one on their mid, whereas CMU is only running one, with Ari opting for that aggressive lane summoner, Ignite. Yeah, so, so I guess... That means... I guess... Sorry, keep going. Oh. Uh, I guess that's telling us that the Ari is actually going to go the the damage assassin blow you up Ari and not the team fighting Ari that uh, yeah. we were potentially talking about. And I also think that teleport is severely uh, underused. Uh, I I'm I play AD a lot as you know, and and even recently I've started taking I've started taking TP uh, mm -hmm. as my AD most of the time. I think heal is nice, and I think it's great to get you out of a sticky situation. But late game that heal doesn't do much. You, I'd much rather have that TP. Yeah, 
And that makes sense. And especially that late game double teleport. I mean, first of all, it gives Talia even more map pressure. Talia is also, we did see the Valkov switch to Ignite with the Zillion opting for exhaust. So a bit of a, a, a defensive summoner layout from NJCU here, uh, which makes sense going into Valkov's Jinx, a very high damage, high aggression lane. And fitting with that high damage, high aggression, we are seeing the Ignite come out from the Valkaz, of course. Now, the double TP, or the TP on Talia, rather, that her ultimate allowing her to section off part of the map with a big wall and ride that wall from mid to top, from mid to bottom, or from wherever she is to anywhere in range, and then teleport back to lane for easy roams once she hits six uh or for sort of a if she doesn't have tp or doesn't have ult the ability to still get into those late game team fights no matter where she is on the map is gonna be big it really shows like we were talking about before this emphasis on sort of mid to late game team fight mid to late game control from this njcu comp uh none of these champions sort of scream early game powerhouse to me of course early mf is powerful and early zillion is powerful mm -hmm. and any champion can be quite strong early but it seems like they're going for a little bit more of a team oriented game here yeah more um, more of a uh, a later on type of thing and uh i wanted to mention earlier that because this uh talia isn't jungle she loses a lot of that uh that roaming potential but because of her ulti and the fact that she brought tp it's not it's not all that bad. Uh, she still has a lot of roaming potential, but uh, yeah, it comes down... Yeah, she can down... just hit the, one of the rivers, bot side, top side, and get into that lane and TP back if she needs to, or, yeah. you know, even TP into a fight bot lane. Uh, and if, I think I think the, the setup for kills mid with the Volibear and Talia are, uh, are really good because all you need is one bit of CC for the Talia uh, W for the... the push or pull or for whichever the, direction for the you knock want back and then yeah especially and, and when, with those mines placed underneath if, if you get hit by that w on talia you're almost you're pretty much dead there there's not much you're to dead say. or you're blowing flash i'll tell you that much <laughs> you're, you're definitely blowing flash i mean ari of course has her ultimate the three extra dashes to get out of that trouble yeah but you still don't want to use that unless you're trying to hunt something down it's obviously better to have that flash have that ari ultimate for some aggression uh, but this is this is a pretty brutal gank, and I mean even even bot lane, right? You you hit that Volibear stun or that that uh, Zillion stun, and you you instantly have the follow up right there, waiting so your AD carry your support just can't yeah. get away. And uh, I also uh, just thought of something that the only champions on CMU who could get over to Leowall if it was block if it was in their path. Sorry. Uh, is Ari, or if Jinx goes Gale Force? I'm not sure you can Gale Force walls. Can uh, I know you? Then I am wrong. I don't I know incorrect. if you can. You may be able so, to. So we're loading into the game here. Yes. Uh, top laners, Double corrupting bots. bots. Uh, yeah. Blue smite That's from Uzi, blue smite from Valver. All that very standard, really standard buys here, right? Now the volley bear went three health pots instead of the, instead of the refillable. refillable yeah, that is. I think that's fine because he stays pretty healthy because of his lifesteal and his just natural tankiness. And uh, But Udyr clears his jungle a lot, a lot faster than Volibear. So I hope... Yeah. Uh, I imagine the Udyr might invade uh, quite a lot because I think early on, he can beat Volibear. Yeah. We see here on the minimap that CMU is opting for a very traditional level one. They've got one player basically at each of the possible entrances to their jungle. There are two entrances top, two bot, and then our, their mid laner is staying mid. And they are really, really on the lookout for any potential invade. We have the Wukong from NJC watching behind that red buff, scouting for an invade. And we've got the uh, bot laners uh, from NJCU holding that sort of blue side entrance. Uh, and it looks like Udyr's going to start top side. For Which makes blue. sense. Uh, he he can eat as long as uh, Udyr has his mana. He can use his spells a lot more effectively. Oh, yes. and farm that much faster. Although I will say, from playing a lot of Udyr lately, you're not chewing through your mana that bad on the first clear, especially because you go Tiger form for the first one, and then you just get your early your early Phoenix form and the AOE. Form, mm -hmm. I mean, it just happens for you. Yeah. And we do see a pretty standard jungle route here. We see Udyr and Volibear both secure their blue buff, go right for the Gromp. Mm -hmm. And yeah. 
Uh, this is just sort of maximizing experience, maximizing money. Standard stuff. Yeah, I hope I hope we see the junglers properly get their krugs. I've been seeing a lot of that lately where junglers have been ignoring the krugs. The XP from krugs is still the best of all the camps. And uh, I think it's people... It's not even that hard to take. <laughs> yeah, it, it, you just smite the big, big krug and mm -hmm. the camp's done. But uh, I have... Oh, that's a press the attack on Jinx. Now, I haven't played Jinx for a while. I might have expected a lethal tempo, just because lethal tempo synergizes so well with Jinx's stacking attack speed. Uh, but oof. Already the press the attack is uh, much better for, as we were discussing earlier, oh, late game. Enough. That's fair. And we do see that Jinx, though, already having to blow through her one health potion, um, which is unfortunate for the folks. Oh man! Oh, the zillion you bombs hate are to just see it happen. The zillion bombs are just <laughs> landing, and the jinx spamming, head banging. Oh, MF getting low too. Has to use her one health potion, but this seems like it's a very support-oriented lane right now. If only because yeah. both supports sort of get to decide who's getting hit and how bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah how the lane's gonna go is up to the supports. Oh, oh we see the early gang, gang top lane. Allowy blows flash, lands the stun, pops in on the Wukong, all of them attacking, and that's just going to be a dead Allowy. The Allowy played like she had an ultimate. The Allowy played like she had an ultimate, and despite her warding in River, uh, she had just pushed up with her big wave a little bit too far so that she had to blow. And then Udyr coming in on the Zillion is out of position. Oh, the oh, flash the from MF. MF! The MF flashing forward to secure the kill. And Zillion is now oh, in a Zillion. tricky position. Can he get out of this? Velcott's oh, but Ari, flanking through Ari River. is not there. Ari's not there. Talia's flanking down. And he's going for a greedy flash bear slap. Tiger form. Talia getting the kill. Oh. oh my goodness. Now, the Zillion does die to the Udyr, but the Talia takes advantage of the poorly placed Velkaz and just yoinks a kill, That's... making it a clean one for one. Support oh, support. No. And the rerun top oh, lane. No. <laughs> she doesn't have flash this time. I don't think she TP'd back to lane, and that's just. It just hurts to you see. Hate to see it happen. Now, if you're this Wukong, you love your jungler right now. You're <laughs> like, hey, she doesn't gotta... have flash. And he said, bet, I'm coming back. <laughs> hey, pal. No, uh, I, th I totally think uh, Zillion uh, dying to the Udyr, while it is a little sad. Talia came out with a kill. And uh, she does have a 10 CS lead now. now yeah, I, I, I think getting the early pressure from the Talia is so much better than worrying about the, the jungler. Oh, Ari flashes forward, doesn't have any follow up. Um, Talia turning on her because the flash is now blown and Bolivar running mid. Udyr was looking bot but decided to back instead. Now I don't know if the charm just wasn't up or what the plan was, but the ignite didn't come out from the Ari. I don't know if the flash was perhaps a misclick, but interesting. Now Jinx here very low, Volibear coming in, Wukong on the flank with the teleport behind, gets the easy kill. They're chasing Ari, going to kill the Talia there almost certainly. I think she's getting... Oh! oh I don't man. know how the Talia turned the... that. Wow, what happened? Oh, did she but... ult? Into tower I imagine, range? No, she doesn't have Oh, ultimate. she is in tower range. She was, I guess, she in got tower knocked, range I bet she got the knocked w, in. But she got that, knocked into tower range. I mean, maybe. that's an insanely strong turn from Pop. That's there. really good. And another and thing that is... teleport bot to secure the double kill bot lane from the Wukong with the follow-up jungle gank easily secures NJCU a dragon. Yeah, and that pressure from Volibear and Wukong on the Alawi top you do that for reasons like this, so that the Wukong can TP, and it's not that bad. It, it, it he opens might up the lane, yeah. Yeah, it, it, he might lose a tower plating, but as a team, they got a double kill and a dragon. Uh, that's worth Absolutely. it almost any And they even book. got the kill mid, which it was looking pretty bad from Paco. And Ari, I think, only just hit six, so I don't know what happened there. I imagine Paco just threw them under tower. Yeah, um, uh, I, th I think he got a good W, and it's all she wrote. It is, yeah. Now, the Alawi is getting... Uh, is getting some good tower damage, but that doesn't matter too much against this 301 yeah, Wukong. I, and Wukong, despite teleporting out of lane, is still up farm. Man. If only marginally. Look, at he got the Executioners. That's he so did. smart. 
the execution is calling for those of you who do not know. Stops incoming healing. Ooh, Ari's gonna oh, die wow. here. Alts out to Leah looking to chase, <laughs> not gonna find it, but that knocked back into the yeah. mines. Once you get once you get hit by that it's W, it's it's over. Zillion going through the jungle looking for the Ari on the recall. The, oh, oh, the well, that was really close. Just but, not, uh, not the Udyr might get caught out. No. So no. now now they know where the Udyr is. They can pressure mid. Ari blew her uh, her ulti, which mm -hmm. is big. I, I, now she just doesn't have a way out of the Talia. Uh, oh yes. As we were saying before all that happened, the Executioner's calling stop seal. Talia roaming bot, ulting, building the wall. Oh, Belkaz no. gonna be trapped and just goes down here. And the Zillion finds the sun over the wall. Is there gonna be follow-up? They're looking for it. Talia looking for the oh. W, finds it. Hits the Q into a minion. Oh, not quite enough damage to finish. Oh, the man. bomb long range. Zillion does not die. But that is a great roam from this, this is, Talia. This is being really well played. And we see the solo kill. And we kill see the solo Mark kill top. up top, pushing on advantage. Talia oh, finds man. the kill with the knockback into the mines. And that is some tower plating for this bot lane. Now, this is just classic choke them out League of Legends. You take your advantage and you edge them at the enemy team out of the game. Use that gold you're getting on your carries, on your big champions. Turn that gold into map pressure and damage. Yeah, this is this is going to be rough to come back from. Yeah, Gold-wise, power-wise, gold pressure-wise. Oh, early MF fold does a lot of damage there. Talia did teleport back to mid. Looking for the wave clear and just shoving this Ari in. Now, I do want to also mention that uh, even though the uh, Udyr is up in farm, uh, I can't see the levels, but I imagine he's up a level. Uh, he's we unfortunately see him. Zillion dies. MF gonna get the follow-up kill on the Velkaz. Running here from the Jinx, falls into the trap. Can she get the Jinx? The Jinx, oh, Triumph heals on the kill. Talia looking to kill her bot, flashes forward, blows the Jinx flash, gets mm. zapped, slowed under tower. Now in a bad position, 1v1, this Udyr oh, no. slowed. Oh, can she make it out? The Udyr gets a speed boost on the she stun. Nah. Talia gets stunned. Big damage oh, coming out. Oh, she manages gets to get it. Kill. Gank top lane, Alawi ults, but that executioner is calling, cutting the healing from Alawi's ultimate so bad that she just cannot sustain that yeah. gank. That's, that executioner's calling is such a good, such a strong, uh, such good line. itemization. And immediately into the Rift Herald. I immediately mean. into the Rift Herald. I mean, that's just League of Legends. You get the top laner killed, and you get yourself a Rift Herald to make even more map pressure. A 4K gold lead for NJCU this early in the game is going to be difficult for CMU to come back from, but it is not impossible. It, will just it is not impossible by any means, but uh, they first need to start with... Uh, I don't think they can worry about... Oh, the, oh, the instant Zillion stun flash. chunks the Jinx to half. Talia fighting mid. Volibear looking for the stun. Finds the stun oh, after the no. flash. That's going to be bad. Talia with the Q. Oh. Volibear ulting for safety. Doesn't even need it. And now they're just going to push the lane. Man, oh this, my god. This they're is... Popping oh, the Rift Herald, guaranteeing they get it, turned. The oh, stun no. on Jinx into the MF oh, ultimate. No. Oh my god, the Udyr coming from, from behind. behind. Slowed. That's a slow on two. Zillion gonna die. He has his ult on himself. They pop the Zillion ult. MF kiting back as hard as she can. Gets knocked up. Zillion finds one bomb. Zillion does not save the MF, but that is okay because they get two kills for one and a mid tower and Talia with Zillion will certainly be able to clear waves bot lane before the Jinx roam back and at we least can also get, get these, another tower, tower plating. Man, the roaming from NJCU is on The team point. play this early in the game is phenomenal. We have seen every gank met with a counter gank either in the same lane or somewhere else on the map from NJCU. Their you, communications you, are good. Their vision yeah. control is pretty good too, with wards in the enemy jungle, allowing them to secure this straight. Enemy bot lane walking up into their tri brush, but likely nothing will come. Ari, not gonna get caught. Wukong oh, finds no. it. Oh, he didn't, he didn't react fast enough. Off. No, that's a hard one to find. I don't even the, know if he, yeah. she was there. That's a rough one. <laughs> that's why we a move into bushes. <laughs> 
That's hey, okay. I have that down to space. Oh, it's hard. Oh, oh, and oh, is my. absolutely chunking it. Zillion not gonna find the bomb, but I imagine they're gonna keep pushing. Zillion oh. flashing forward for the vision. MF gets the kill. Zillion does die for that. I'm not sure that that's worth it at this point in the oh, game. With what? The lead. What is that auto range? It's pretty big. Now this is a 2v1 for this Jinx. She heals. She trying heals. to get the MF. Oh wow! Ult to get the MF. Udyr fighting this Valibear. Now this is just uh, so many fights happening one after the other. Udyr ripping into this Volibear, but he's going under tower. He's trying to tank it. Oh my god, oh. he gets the stun, the shield, and the oh, Udyr man. does not survive. That is hard to see. That was... That oh, was rough. No. Wukong engages, ease forward, blows the Alawi flash. A little bit of poke happening in the mim lane. Ari found by the Talia W. Dodges the charm on the Talia. Ari ult sound. All in all. Oh. See, so so we were we were talking about how Aaliyah, uh, Talia's uh, W once you get hit by it. it Ari actually uh, played that pretty well, even though she got W'd, even though she got poked. Talia, once her spells are down, can't do much to protect herself other than run. So uh, just walking at the enemy bot laner, lands the stun of the Velkaz into the MF ult. That is for sure a kill. Will the Zillion be able to survive? Absolutely, if only barely. Oh! MF walked into the trap. Oh, a Wukong ultimate. E in Q. The Q on Wukong. When you see that monkey man drop that vertical slash that shreds the armor of his target, meaning his melee damage, his, his uh, attack damage is going to do more. Zillion thing at the back wave. They find the slow. But it looks like just the classic wave push into the tower here. Uh, this Jinx can't hold by herself. The Zillion no, has she to be can't, careful. But she might be able to. The ult comes through. Oh, the, oh, the ult. Oh, the fast reaction time from the Zillion and the Talia ulting behind. They're looking for a kill. The Zillion just Man. secures it, and they will it, get themselves a tower I'm, here on the side of NJCU. I'm half tempted to almost think the Zillion did that on purpose because that was really smart. It is really it. smart. Now Talia does almost die to Velka's ultimate, but the Volibear just ults over the wall. Lands in front of the Velkaz and says, You thought you could kill my friend, but I say no. Inter interesting to note that they're backing. It's, oh, Wukong I didn't think the tower was that weak. This Never is mind. just an easy kill. One more auto does it. That is an overextension. There were no wards from the CMU top laner there. Uh, the Alawi did not have vision. And being that low, I, I guess she thought she was safe because four members showed bot, but you don't know where that Wukong is. You can't push that one. Woody are looking to stop us back, but it would be ill-advised <laughs> given the how <laughs> ahead that Volibear is, so. And now we just see the team spreading out. CMU trying to farm the jungle a little bit, trying to farm the bot lane a little bit. Uh, all ooh, Ari caught once again by that, but has to ult out again. Woodier flashes, slows, Talia flashes back to get out of it. We're looking for something. They find oh, the stun man. on the Ari, and Talia is just going to clean that up, and that is a great stun from that Zillion. But, oh, and the Volibear slow into the stun, takes the Blast Cone so the Udyr can't get out, and they're just going to take him down. They're, and that is when the mid laner yells at the rotated. support for taking the kill. <laughs> that is the... <laughs> C CMU is just... It, it... The map isn't theirs. They're they're moving in the not, wrong places. It is not. They are also down like 12k gold, which means <laughs> even if they had more map pressure, the yeah. damage, uh. the itemization is just so much farther ahead. Zillion may die here. Pops the ultimate. Nobody on his team is nearby. Yeah. That bomb just does so much damage to those players, though. Dodging those skill shots, the Velkaz flashes forward, looking for something, finds it, finds the stone. Oh the Volibear comes up and gets the easy cleanup double kill for KP Cooper. Oh my Man. goodness. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, the Zillion. He, I don't he does... know if that was on purpose and was just like a 17 the, the... like bait, but <laughs> it gets the Volibear a double kill and a Rift Herald Wukong shoving in top. With the misfortune in Talia looking at the dragon, I think. Yeah, uh, at this point, almost anyone on NJCU could solo kill the dragon. I am almost certain Zillion probably could. That would be a bit difficult, because those Zillion autos are very weak. <laughs> Velkaz looking for something on the Wukong, but just can't find it, and they lose a tower, the second tier tower top lane. 
the, uh, can a zillion you, running at okay so the immediately zillion, ulting away the zillion forces the ari alt because the stuns uh, just does not have the map vision really to know where the other players are so they don't know if it's a solo zillion but now with the totally mid lane volibear looking for the kill on the alawi wukong finds the q finds the e they get the ultimate stop the power and that's just going to be a kill on the alawi that is a clean dive and somewhere on the map, he oh. dies, and the Velkaz dies to the W. The Udyr did kill Misfortune, but Misfortune got a kill in return, and their team did, in fact, get another yeah. kill for cleanup. And they're popping the Rift Herald pop at the inhibitor tower with Udyr pushing bot lane. Yeah. And this U is going to be Udyr, the only one up, just will not be able to stop this, and they are almost certainly going to get an inhibitor here for NJCU. Yeah. Uh I think the Udyr stay, he, even though he killed the MF, there was so much they lost by he just not being there. He, he wasn't there to help or even just attempt to keep them away, you know? Now, Valkos does find a kill under the Talia there. It looks mostly like the Talia and NJCU sort of slightly overstayed their welcome. Um, but that kill, I mean, there is still a banning on Talia, and so a bunch of gold did go over to CMU, but it was only to the Valkaz. So, Raw Bear running at the Jinx, besides, he does not want that smoke, and Zillion taking the blue buff on the side of NJCU. I mean, they're, they're I do see the I do him. see the question mark pin. Is he gonna try? Oh my goodness. <laughs> no one was around. We see the question mark things coming out. Brutal. I, I, what do you even do at, CM, at CMU right here? Well, what you have to do is wait for the late game because the thing about gold in this game is even if you're 12k up now, once you're full build and your opponents are full, full build, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. All because we can hope the, is that they can last. That's, that's what they what have, they to, have to be on. hoping for here. Now, but Zillion with, is going to get caught in. here. They are going to get the ultimate out of Zillion. Pushing onto the MF, finds the stun. Ari going in. Ari's forward for more damage. Ari dies to the Talia while securing the kill. And oh my goodness, what seemed to be such a good pick from SCMU is turned by the Talia Rome and Wukong teleport into a loss. And now Talia ulting forward, cleaning up these kills, getting the Alawi. And they're trying to break down this second mid tower. And Jinx is going to get out. But what was such a good fight for CMU with a pick on the Zillion and in the MF, turns into four deaths off yeah. the bat. The, the, that TP, is just the TP from Wukong came in, ultied, stopped, it, stopped them from running away, stopped them from getting the final bit of damage on the uh, on the Talia. Absolutely di a difficult situation. So, it, the map control is is just really being well played by NJCU right now. the The fact that they all waves are pushing, they're being they're properly rotating, making sure there's wards everywhere. There's nowhere uh, CMU in their bottom side of their own jungle could go and not be seen. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Now, if we look at the wards, CMU does have a. A, an okay amount of wards, but I mean, NJCU just has wards so deep into the bottom side jungle of CMU that they just cannot leave their base on that side without NJCU knowing. It uh, it helps that they don't have to cover their own jungle, really. Absolutely. Now, uh, the Wukong here is backing because the dragon is going to be up shortly, buying his items. Absolutely, and they are almost certainly going to... Now, Udyr finds the Zillion and the Talia, takes a ward, but does not contest, because if he does, he will likely not make an out. Now, uh, at this point, it's almost all... Uh, I it, it is being foretold to me through my mystical abilities that uh, Soul is going to probably go over to NJCU. Uh, and it being I, Mountain that Soul... Would be, you know, I would bet on your <laughs> mystical voices telling you that. I would agree with them. I would yeah. bet. Uh, with, I know with... you called up the Oracle of Delphi. Valder finds the pick on Valder, uh, onto Udyr. Gets the stun, gets the slow. Udyr is slowed with the smite from 
Vala Bear, and Vala Bear is going to get just chase him down. We have three other members of NJCU rotating, and CMU is rotating two or at least three of them, but they're just not fast enough. So far behind their jungler, and now they are smite down. Vala Bear leaves the dragon pit, finds a kill on the Ari, Wukong ulting onto the Valkaz, and that is just cut and dried kills. Jinx never even rotated with him. Talia pushing top lane, looking to end this game right now with this wave. Jinx yeah. out of position, and Jinx cannot 1v1 this Talia. That Talia does not have the biggest wave, but this super minion is going to be tough. Olawi is up, and I imagine they are going to look for something onto this Talia. It's a question of whether or not they can find it, and now the team of NJC oh, is here. Oh my god. god, look at that damage, Jimmy! Talia just dropped the bomb and said, this is not your house anymore, this is my property, and I'm burning it to the dang ground. You see, oh you my see the one, one Q did about 600 damage. Absolutely, like, it, just, and just one is rock. almost, Velkaz is almost completely killed from two zillion bombs, has to fall back. Jinx gets the zillion kill, but at the cost of her own life in both Nexus Towers, the players from CMU are now trapped in their base. The inhibitor respawns, though, it appears, and the Nexus cannot be hit, but their misfortune alone is able to zone two players from CMU, <laughs> and they just cannot oh, end. They cannot save this game. NJCU with a commanding performance. Here. Yeah, and ending the game with a 16k gold lead. I, 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 I hate to say it, uh, just like the idea that NJCU just outplayed, but I, what else to say? Uh, their roams were better. Their their TP flanks, the setting up for top ganks. Yeah. Uh, the early game, the early gank from on the Alawi really helped out the Wukong, especially that double gank. Yeah, get, getting getting the top laner with TP uh, ahead, making sure that he even even though the jungler might even though he did, uh, if the jungler isn't as able uh, to spread his pressure out across the map. The top laner probably has a much easier time of doing that, especially when they have TP and they're so, uh, and their playmaking potential is so high, such Absolutely. as Wukong. And the the extreme aggression from the bot lane. Now, the zillion play was almost disrespectfully flashy, which is <laughs> odd to see. You don't usually think of zillion as like a BM champion, but the zillion realistically got a lot of those kills bot lane by low key just speeding himself forward and hitting stunts. <laughs> yeah, and that uh, is really bold. It, and it especially... worked when it worked it worked especially once the Talia opened up the mid lane. Uh and we have to we didn't get to see it but we we got to talk about that beautiful what I imagine was a beautiful turn on that Ari. The Talia was really at less than like 100 or 200 hit points and Ari was right there ready to kill her and then the Talia turns it as another four man gank happens three man gank happens bot lane and like you said it's just this team's ability to roam with one another and to use their gold lead to create map pressure and space for themselves on the map is huge because if you have all this money and you spend it on items to do more damage, and all you do is kill your champion in your lane over and over, but you never take the tower. You mm -hmm. never take the drake. Well, it's a hard game for your opponent because they're dying, but you're not getting much ground yet, right? Yeah, you're not your, really your pressure getting ground. isn't spread out. It, it, it's yeah. just in your lane, and yeah, and you don't even get you know you don't even get the tower if you play like that. But these this team they were focused on their objectives. It wasn't just killing to kill, it was killing to get a Rift Herald, to get a Drake, to get a tower play. Exactly. Oh, well, that's well said, man. Thank that was you. really well said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just the, the, the fact that they didn't focus on themselves, and I know it's a team game, but we often see that I'm the carry, I, a kind of mental from some players, right? But being able to go, I have this lead. How can I bring it to my teammates? How can I make sure my teammates share this lead that I have with the TP from Wukong, with the ulti blocking their es escape from uh, Talia? Uh, it also helped 
initially getting the first kills, uh, getting that initial gold from the 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 Volibear and the Wukong at the top. Absolutely, and then, I mean, it's exactly like we talked about up top at the start of the show. Just the Talia's ability to move around with the teleport, with the ultimate, and use that ultimate extremely aggressively to chase down kills, to separate members of the team, and just get easy kills or kill secures. Uh, I mean, it was just executed wonderfully from the Talia player there. So, yeah. going into game two, do you think we're going to see any updated bans from CMU or from NJ or from NJC? Do you think they're going to try to get the uh, get the Talia out of there? Do you think they're going to try to get the Zillion out of there? Talia's um, out, a hundred percent. I'm I'm almost certain. If I if I was sure? seeing get the Talia out of there, uh, the, that's the fair. Ma- I mean that that Talia really took over that mid lane. So yeah, the 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 pressure of having TP and her ulti, like she could have sufficed with going ignite uh, or exhaust, and and she still would have had pressure. But the more the being able to have much more pressure, uh, with both TP and her ulti, it, it, you you run away with your lead in mm-hmm. something like that. You wonder then, did they think about banning something like the Twisted Fate with it, right? I mean, obviously that's a lot of bans to invest on the mid lane, but if you get you don't have the Talia, I mean, your TF ultimate with TP can still do the same darn thing. You can just take get a lead in the mid lane, teleport somewhere else, teleport back. Yeah, uh, and the thing, I like Twisted Fate a lot because some, some do say, oh, it, it's not as good because you know when it's coming you do uh you you see the eye above your head uh you can see where he's even going but it's so quick oh yeah it's almost some and uh and the stun card's easy to land yeah yeah, the uh, the stun card is just it, it uh you almost have to accept it when it first when he first tps just accept that he has a gold card ready um but at the same time uh, I also really like Talia's ability of being able to uh, be, go from unseen areas that you don't know they're coming. But uh, now we're moving into the pick ban of the game two. I am excited to see how this changes. NJCU seems to be blue side this time. Uh, oh, well. Mordekaiser ban again which we did see NJCU ban last time. So I'm imagining the CMU top laner and there's oh, a zillion ban, <laughs> a zillion ban. I mean, that zillion helped take that bot lane over. That makes a whole lot of sense. Now, NJCU with their win, not changing a lot up. That is a reasonable thing to do. The yeah. Jin ban, again, very reasonable. It's interesting that NJCU is keeping the bands the exact same. Hmm. And well, CMU still banning Jin. I, I I do get that uh Jin is a pain. But, yeah, uh, I mean the Jin because get, get <laughs> even though the MF was dominant in the bot lane, uh, the bot lane duo was a dominant bot lane for NJCU. Giving that bot lane Jin. Um, there it is. Oh, there this it is. leaves up Kaisa though. They are choosing <laughs> to leave up bands. Kaisa. <laughs> Well, but NJCU gets three picks right here, and That's we true, could see right. an early Kaisa pick. Now, I, I do want to mention, I like that NJCU band Udir. I like it a lot. I do. Udir, Udir was Udir one was of the, the early the game one. issues. Yeah. Yeah. For a while, yeah. He he was the one who was uh who was getting the kills that were att- that were pushing them back in. But um, the th- Zed oh, pick, the, Zed. the first pick Zed. They they switch up the Zed ban, and we're gonna see Paco on Zed this game. And I am interested to see how this goes. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is gonna be an aggressive <laughs> mid lane. Oh, I imagine CMU is just sitting there. Oh God, <laughs> Senna picked up early for CMU. I I hate Senna. I hate Senna. I, hate I know. Senna. Hey, buddy. I know that about you. <laughs> <laughs> Senna's Senna's range late game is is incredible. It is 
insane the the range capabilities that Senna can reach uh, after collecting the souls. And just so annoying. And then Anivia coming out. Anivia certainly going to be going mid lane against the Zed. The man, Anivia. I, egg. Oh, I and don't a like Moomoo that. jungle. Oh, a oh man. I I don't like the Anivia pick here. I do. The She's Zed? busted right now. Against the Zed still? Well, the uh, if you have egg, the Zed ult just doesn't stop you. Well, I, I yes, you're right. But once that egg is popped, Zed ult, he is not on that long of a cooldown. That's true. But I think this is like it, this is almost like picking Lux into Zed, where you're saying like, all right, I don't know if I'm really gonna fight that much. I'm just kind of farming. I'm That's like, true. I'll land some stuff if my jungler comes in, but I'm not here for the one v ones. New new. Oh, it's new new mid. Oh no. No, well, then where's wait. the Zed going? No, you're right. That was dumb of me. What? Where this is... might be like last game where we saw Silas, but... Oh, and we did see a, a few players swapped, by the way. This game. Oh, did we? Uh, well, I got a message that we did, but I can't see names in this screen. Uh, so we will... Yeah, we'll we'll see it once. Uh, we'll see it once we're in. Yeah. Now once, I'm wondering uh, if this is like a Silas thing where we they actually had picked Misfortune, but it showed us the Silas card, and Ooh, we do right, see Tristana yeah. banned, which makes sense because Chuki plays a good amount of Tristana. But now, if this is not an if this is a new new, I am very confused. But if it is I... not, I think it will be more clear yeah uh i know uh, i see mid yeah yes we do now actually have different players so we now have qa in the mid lane amadeus beans and that one carlos on the team okay yeah so we swapped out that's so we don't have the same yeah we don't have the same mid laner uh just from the quick look i i believe cmu uh also changed a couple of players Though it escapes me slightly. We do see the Blitzcrank here. Now, is this going to be an ADC Senna? Yes, uh, be... I'm almost certain it is. I am too, but it's not usually how it's picked. But Senna Blitzcrank is a very annoying lane. Yeah, uh, being able to follow up with the root so fast and and then Blitzcrank knock yeah. up. Unfortunately, I can't quite see what that second to last ban is from NJCU. But Olaf is a good ban here. Olaf, an extremely strong jungler and extremely strong into a Moo Moo. Oh. Oh, we're good. We're back. We are back. Uh, Olaf, able, once he hits six, to ignore the Orn. CC of uh, a Moo Moo. They did ban Orn last game. Uh, NJCU banned Orn last game, but they are letting it through this time, so we're not going to see the Alawi run back. So, I, just from CMU's team comp now, this is... This seems to be much more early focused with the Blitzcrank and uh, and the Anivia being able to initiate these early fights easier than others. Mm -hmm. uh, Senna does scale very well late game, so they have some security in case that does happen. And Anivia is a great late game champion too. Yes, and the brand by NJCU. The that... brand certainly, almost certainly going support, a very, very difficult support to play against, has the option of just doing so much damage uh so quickly and over time as well very very difficult support to play against um, i just hate playing against brand support too man i know you hey again i know that about you yeah we, ha we have that bot lane <laughs> chemistry and a recon, recon. something's wrong here. i am not a hundred percent sure what's going on well, well uh we um when we get into the waiting for... Uh... Yeah, when we get into the waiting for lobby, we will see if these are the actual picks. Now, if yeah, these are we the see actual repeated. picks from NJCU and the Nocturne jungle from CMU. Nocturne is a very strong jungle, has that global pressure with his ult, or near global pressure with his ultimate. Um, Nocturne this is, is a strong to deal with. There's almost certainly something messed up on uh, NJCU team's pick. Here. I think that that is true. But... Uh, I I I really like Nocturne Jungle. Uh, I think it's uh, Rakan, really I've strong. heard that um, Rakan is Jinx. Nunu is set. And okay, Nunu so, is set. So, so we have a set. Okay. I imagine set top Jinx brand bot lane Zed mid. Okay, there we go. Okay, that makes a lot more go. sense. <laughs> that makes more. I wonder what's wrong with this site, huh? Interesting. <clears throat> 
Okay, so set or uh, set top. I think set is uh, underplayed. I know when he first came out, uh, he was played a lot, but um, set is really strong. Being able to uh, help peel is mm-hmm. probably his biggest uh, his biggest advantage. I feel uh, in a team fight, Ooh. being able to ult people, uh, being able to ult people off of your uh, damage dealers or uh eating them away or and also the survivability of his w crazy interesting yeah i mean that sounds about right to me now it is interesting to me that they did not choose to pick up the kaisa when because they last picked their ad carry and we did not see a kaisa ban and brand and set and a Mumu, I mean, especially a Mumu, all have ways of applying the Kaisa passive that allows her to use her ultimate most effectively. Yeah. Um, and this does seem like a pretty strong team fighting team. Um, I mean, so Kaisa, I am a little surprised we didn't see it, but the Jinx, I am excited to see how NJCU utilizes the Jinx this time around, especially in the Blitz Senna, because. It is going to be. It is it's a little harder for the Jinx than the Kaisa it, than it is for the Kaisa to dodge those Blitz Crank hooks because Jinx does not have that move speed steroid outside of getting a kill or a tower down. Yeah, um, which is I, I'll call it inconsistent at best. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> it is not a mere twelve or whatever. Sec- like, it is not a mere cooldown. It is something different. But yeah, so so something I wanted to point out here is. NGCU seems to have a thing for uh, AOE based comps. Uh, if mm-hmm. just looking just looking at it now, you can see that okay, yep. they're uh, they're focused on on AOE damage, uh, damage mm-hmm. CC. However, CMU is more of a pick comp with Nocturne, Blitzcrank, Senna. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so hopefully here in this phase we will see the correct champions up but just as a reminder the Nunu we saw was in fact a set and the Rakan was in fact a jinx Um, so that is (laughs) I was a bit scared for a moment (laughs) so I have yeah it would have been it would have been very it would have been odd. an interesting choice and i'm sure the coach would have had some things to say about it later but no it's not going to come down to that um are, are those emotes there are emotes flying over the rift yeah <laughs> their fear is wise. No, i um, think that those are the um game start emotes cuz we're in the delay and like yeah, you know yeah, when you right. load yeah, in yeah. And it has the emote i think it's just all of them flashing at once cuz we can see them in the distance running out of the no, Base, it's on no. loop. That's on loop. Oh, is it? Never mind. Yeah, it is. Oops. Cause, cause, anyway, uh, yeah. So we we see the the set. Uh, yeah, there's the set. Okay. Uh, I like this a lot actually. So the set with ignite here. We will see if that gets shifted around. Oh. I don't. I feel like the TP is uh is usually just the thing you go as a top laner. Maybe. I mean, maybe he's just trying to, like, just hard bully this Orn in lane, but... I don't know if... I... Bullying Orn doesn't really go together. I'm just trying to be optimistic here, Jimmy. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Give me some help there, Jimmy! <laughs> Dang! No, I'm kidding. Uh, and we see the movement, of course. And then, no, okay, so that switches to teleport. This is good. Okay, yeah. Um, and we uh, see I... Amadeus Beans with the Amumu. Uh, Kata spanked me on the Nocturne money bags 2K. <laughs> That's a good name. It is. I was trying so hard not to laugh at it, trying to be professional, but you're out here doing <laughs> <laughs> doing all this. And uh <laughs> No, I uh I I really like a Mumu jungle. Uh his hey, AoE ulti is, is the best thing about him. Um his clear speed is also uh really it's not the good. worst, but no, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I, it's a good frontline option, you know, like a really yeah. raw frontline option. So uh, something about a Mumu is he can actually clear uh, level one uh, red and raptors at the same time. Yes, he can. I wonder if Amadeus <laughs> Beans knows that trick. Well, Lilia can do the same thing too, but he, she's not in this no, game. Lilia's not in the game, Jimmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
So we are seeing that Trist band. What oh, we're going to get uh, to see. We, we missed one of the bands from NBCU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited I think, for that I think that'll be this one. It that will be. Missed. Looking forward to seeing what that actually was. Uh, I imagine, based on how it is, I imagine it was... Oh, it, it is literally like a no band. Oh. It was. It was actually a note van. It wasn't like a glitched thing. Oh, huh. interesting. I wonder why that is. Um, Ran the timer, maybe. Discussing what the band lost track of time. Hey, we've all been there. Hey, oh, yeah. You were saying something? Yeah. What I was You're just right? going to point out was that um, <laughs> everyone else sort of picked in order on this screen. Which would imply that the brand is mid, but I assume we're seeing a trade or we're going to see level one baby slime going mid. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm because I'm this, thinking... this setup would slightly imply something different, um, <laughs> but I'm imagining that they're not busting out the Zed support here. Although, I mean, hey, maybe they're just on Who some we, deep dude? meta stuff. Who are we? But, uh, I think I think the way the the production works, it's just uh, some like a little inconvenience. But we understand what what it is now. Absolutely, the kill pressure from their CMU bot lane, crazy, crazy. Blitz Senna, the Blitz has ignite. Oh, of course. Now, and now, uh, again, the the Anivia has ignite. The Nivea does have Ignite, which is interesting, given that I would assume she wouldn't want to fight a Zed. I mean, maybe like it's for the early kills, try to get some early leads, right? Maybe just force him out some of lane. Some pre-six stuff, try to get an early advantage. But no, um, when I when I play against Zed, or this isn't just me, uh, teleport barrier, uh, exhaust. Either, I, ter yeah, yeah. Uh, usually exhaust, just because it cleaves his damage by forty percent, which is which big. is insane. Especially early on. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, now, let me just ask you something I learned recently. Did you know you can cleanse Ignite? I did not. I, or maybe uh, I, I did and I forgot. Yeah, I learned that the other day. And uh, it's actually... I've seen it save people's lives in games before. Yeah, Ignite's a very balanced summoner spell that does a fair <laughs> amount of damage. Um... I miss the days when you could QSS Zed ult. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but you used to be able to QSS his ulti? Yeah, which was How great. Did... Wow. Uh, something else. I I kind of almost wanted to see the Jinx go cleanse here. Because if this, mm, if this Jinx yeah. gets hooked by the Blitzcrank, that heal's not saving her. That's true, uh, that, and the late game, the late game would be nice for a cleanse because of the Nocturne Fear, the Anivia Stun, the Center or, Root, or TP. Uh, yeah, that could be maybe, good. Maybe, maybe they're maybe, just maybe. going for some lane stuff and planning on getting that early QSS here. It, you know what? Heal is the default for a reason, right? It is good. Like it's never bad, right? It's but... never bad. Just. Sometimes they're on paper. There is sometimes better. Oh, absolutely. But uh, in about sixty-seven, sixty-five now seconds, we will get to see this early game play out. Um, I imagine we're going to see. Uh, I twenty we're kills see an invade. ten. No, uh, <laughs> maybe an invade. The blitz li always liable to invade. Um, even a Mumu, pretty good invade. Unfortunately, not a lot of follow up from the Mumu stun uh, on the side of NJCU level one. You've got the set grab and things like that, but that CMU level one with a stun, a hook, a knock up from Orn potentially. I mean, there is just so much crowd control on that side that it would be a very easy invade, especially to a team that pretty early on, like. Outside they don't have the, much agility. Like, yeah, outside of the Zed Shadow, which you don't really want to take level one, you don't have that much move speed uh, on this team, and you you can blow some flashes. But here we are. We have uh, twelve seconds. Oh, ten. We have seconds. a new screen. We do. We have haven't a new seen screen. this. We have not seen this yet. It is a very nice screen. Um, the guys who but, put, man, 
Yeah, the people who put this together, shout out to them. But it's game time, <laughs> as the screen says. So let's get uh, to dude, it. Dude, that got that gets me hype. Game time. Game let's, time. Let's go. Now, no, we're still on the delay though. <laughs> now, okay, now, 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 let me be. Um, uh, let me let me uh, let my hubris show. And uh, just off of draft, which team do you think will win? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna ask you that because I think you want your hubris to show based <laughs> on what you said. Um, I think mm, I wasn't expecting the question to turn on me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think if it goes to CMU's plan, oh, wow, they win. The rift. Right. Uh, just now from the way look. it's looking, I don't think there's an invade happening from CMU. They did put level one baby slime mid, by the way. And QA. Oh, that's uh, right. Oh, they did. Yeah. Oh, and it doesn't look like CMU's invading. Um, yeah. Now, they aren't spreading out like they did last time. There is one unprotected entrance to their jungle, but uh, a Mumu uh, with a nice skin going for an early back. A nice skin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he's going back for the... Um the scanner uh i forget the name off the top it's slipping my mind the sweeper yeah, yeah. so yeah. but uh now we see both junglers going with refillables on like the volley bear last game it went to three yeah, health well, pots i mean neither of these junglers have as quite a healthy clear as the yeah th their clears are fast but they're not as tanky or healthy you're liable to take a bit more damage. And we see the Amumu starting red and the Nocturne starting blue. A bot side start for both. This means their paths are going to be somewhat mirrored, although the Nocturne might stop for the Gromp, whereas it's a little... Maybe the Amumu will stop for the Krugs, maybe not. Uh, hard to tell. Uh, Orn still camping out in that top lane tribe brush. Uh, and our lane assignments begin. And we do, in fact, see the Ignite on the Anivia. And a Longsword... Two or three pot stop. Yeah, and that nocturne is gonna go. Oh, they're they're mirroring each other, both going for that second camp. Uh close to their bot lanes. Oh, interesting. The Amumu or the Amumu's going right for the Krugs. I respect well, that Amumu Krugs clear is yeah, I mean, it's not it's hard. Good. We do see that early grab on the Orn, but not a whole lot of damage can happen that quickly at level one with just a D shield on either side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean I say that, but then I think about tanks. It, I'm <laughs> Actually, that's really interesting. I wonder why the, uh, I wonder why, uh, Set decided to take Relic. Or, um, I'm sorry, uh, Doran Shield. It, uh, early game, Lorne's power is not all that great. We see a really big amount of poke coming out under this brand. The Blitzcrank missed with the hook, but the Senna found the stun and a lot of follow-up damage with that range that you were mentioning. Oh, on a good stun. But being only level 3, you're not going to get a lot of follow-up. Oh, hook no. out of the brand. Misses the stun. Easy kill for CMU off of that hook, though. And now Senna is just going to chase and poke this Jinx out. Really make sure that she cannot come back. Oh my goodness, this damage is just so much from this Senna. Yeah. That, that's exactly what you That's exactly what you want to see out of CMU. Uh, the hook right in the Senna's roof. Uh, there's Knocked not up onto the do. set, gets the clap, gets the fire breath, easy shield from set, negating a lot of that damage. But yeah, that hook, unfortunately the Senna did miss the follow-up route, but it just did not matter. We find the stun onto the Zed again, not much is going to come from it. Ooh, the root onto the brand, misses the stun, just poking, and the NJCU support is already so low. After just returning from lane, Zed dashes forward, oh. blows the Anivia flash off of an auto attack. Uh, maybe that was a bit of a pattern flash. I assume that's oh, the hook attempt. Potentially the hook oh. not quite going to connect, but these NJCU bot laners are just so Oh low. man, the poke from, from Senna is crazy. The knock up onto the set, out of the set grab, W's for that shield, and Chuki here is almost out of mana and only about a third health. The Nocturne's there, blows the Jinx Flash, but the W from the brand is zoning them off. Oh. Finds the hook, gets the Flash. Oh, no that's knock that's really no knock bad. Oh, and this Senna could kill this Jinx here. Not quite gonna get it done. Finds the root oh, and no. almost dies for it, but 
gets out alive and Chuki backing in a very safe spot behind those minions. Blitz coming around looking for something, finds oh. it, finds it, and <laughs> Waylord just instantly cues that for a kill. Well, oh, was that about no. Backing in the safe spot? I thought that the back would get off before <laughs> the minions left, and Jimmy, I was wrong. <laughs> Man, the sustain from the Senna Blitz Crank is crazy. It's just With so nasty. And Brand here going to do his best to clear that wave. Uh, Orn doing a little bit of shopping in lane. For those of you who don't know, Orn can buy in lane. Uh, and he's going to find a lot of damage out of this set after that item pickup. Yeah. So and, oh, the, boy. The set made the mistake of fighting in the wave. Uh, yeah, there, absolutely. There was, and it, it, there was about that eight minion caster damage creeps. Up. That minion damage adds up. Uh, minions, you're right. I'm gonna say creep. Minions and crap, you know. I've been playing too much Dota. I would say to each their own, but for that I must shame you. <laughs> don't, don't do that. No, uh, we find the oh, ooh, a good oh, bit happening. of chunk damage onto Anivia. Dodges oh. the stun, following oh, it up, yeah, ults the it. Anivia, trying to blow this egg. Just gonna so, get some extra damage in here. So like we were talking Does about. Does he before. get this kill? The ignite's still up. The auto is oh, ticking. Oh, Absolutely. Man. Baby slime getting that kill. Cool under pressure just caught was auto attacking, using your abilities on rotation, finding the damage on that Anivia through just the Just bring the creep over. I mean, you know, just speeding it up. <laughs> now NJCU here has a huge wave bot lane, which is gonna make it difficult for a CMU to fight. And Senna is not the best at clearing minions under tower. Yeah, meaning she, she could she, potentially miss a good deal of CS. And she keep in mind, the... Chuki's up farm despite being down two kills. Yeah, uh, Senna has the same problem uh, Jin has when farming under tower. Is uh, oh my goodness, that damage on that yeah. idiot. Is that under tower too? I mean, what do you even do? What do you do against that? Yeah, that's but, just uh, a rough. Senna one. under tower has to use her abilities to clear to clear minions under tower, and so she burns through mana really fast. Oh yeah. And we see that the first back of the set found a vamp scepter, and NJCU is fighting with a little bit of a rockier early game here. They're not that far behind in gold, only about six hundred, and they do secure that first that's, fire drake. That's what you want to see, even even when they're behind, going for the objectives. That's what you absolutely. Want. Especially something like an Infernal Drake. So early on, it's not so helpful. But even even if they don't get the other Drakes, it, it's helpful to have later on. Just that one. Absolutely. That that extra little bit of damage, you never know when it's going to come in handy. Now, something I'm look I'm looking at the items, and uh, I'm seeing that the Orn uh, bought the Bramble, Bramble Vest. Vest that's, first, yeah. that's really tragic. Uh, especially when the set's first item was a Vampiric Scepter. Yeah. Um... That's, that's, you hate to see it. <laughs> There's not much, it, it, he's not, he's just not going to get the healing off of the event's pure acceptor anymore. Oh, the Blitz taking a lot of damage, wow. Taking way more damage than was potentially required. Oh! And the Chuki finds the ult, oh. but the Nocturne ulting on top of the AD carry, flashing forward to keep the fear, gets it through the exhaust from the brand, and they are going to chase this. We get the speed up from the Nocturne, and it is just over for the brand. A one for two. Now, Chuki was good to farm that kill with the ultimate, but unfortunately, the Nocturne was there and ready to take advantage. Yeah of that and they just could not get away chuki did not have flash she had a heal but it was not enough orn finds the knock up onto the set set shields flashes behind oh. ults the orn oh, under wow. tower drawing the flash out flash for flash an interesting play that getting really out alive good. that was really well played from the set uh I was worried because he was taking so much damage, but... One wonders if he could have just flashed out under tower and preserved the ultimate, but it, it doesn't really matter. He got out, and that's okay. That's yeah, and uh, with, with Seth's HP regen, and in all reality, look at he's, uh, he's full is, health. Yeah, and Zed <laughs> did, in fact, just get a kill mid lane, and we see Nocturne to bot side again. Um, just hanging out, yeah. Wow, we see the Senna with uh, the Kraken Slayer already. The, man. Oh my goodness, the, the nine-minute Kraken Slayers. That's are. really bad. It, she uh, she got it so fast because she has magical footwear and didn't need to buy boots. <laughs> and oh, also, she, she's 3 0 and one with 50 farm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that helps, that helps. But uh, 
Magical footwear is saving her a lot of money. That's 300 that, gold. Yeah, it, it adds up, you know. Yeah. Especially it when adds the, up uh, to 300. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh my goodness, the zap into the rockets doing quite a bit of damage to the Senna. Oh, but yeah, find Senna, a little bit Senna of healing. Just is back at half health. Oh yeah, because Senna can just heal for so much, but <laughs> No, I wonder if she's gonna go lifesteal item next. Cause uh she, she with such a strong lead, uh going something like a lifesteal item to make sure that she doesn't die. Um would probably be good. Maybe a defensive item. But uh, I don't imagine Nocturne. Looking for the root doesn't find it. We knocked her back bottom again. And the ultimate is off cooldown. Oh no. And here it comes, right under the jinx, finds it. The Brandle gets off, but it just is not enough damage, and we have a fight happening topside at the same time. And it's just two brick walls hitting one another. There's not a lot that's gonna <laughs> yeah. happen there. The Blitzcrank played that real well in that last Oh, fight. really, he, truly, um, he did. He, he, I mean, he walked at them, and uh, he pressed ulti. They couldn't cast any spells, they couldn't do anything. Yeah lined it up for the uh the but the zed's to trying to in. come in here the amumu under tower dodges the senna oh amumu finds oh, one gets oh, a kill nice. onto the senna this is going to be a cleanup kill onto the blitz yes sir well they get the nocturne. with the ignite ulting the nocturne he's Can going he land his stuff he misses the cues oh no and he doesn't get oh, out man. in time he did not retreat to his clone unfortunately and dies Dude. to that tower the orn got confused by the uh the knock up and missed his w that's true. That is what happened. <laughs> but they cracked Rift Herald bottom. They're going to get some plates here. Uh, despite it being a little bit of a rougher game than last time for the NJCU bot lane, they still are going to get it very early. They might so, even get the so, tower here. I don't think they'll get it just because the uh, the extra defensive stats. That's uh, true. Oh, but they have this wave and three people against just a Senna. Blitzcrank is showing up now. Oh, that's true. Oh. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. That's that's really good that they got that. That was worrying. That was worrying. Any hook under <laughs> tower is always scary. Now, Set is looking at this uh, Orin, who is super low health, but... Anivia just clearing waves. It's that raw, I mean, yeah, real Anivia no, gameplay. There's not much else she can really do. I, mean, I know, that 0-2-0 against that Zed, and then and then your laner has two other kills otherwhere. It's, uh, it's rough. Yeah. Uh, so they're going to be going. They're going to be setting up for this dragon. Orin's going to be backing to oh, get for, sure. to, for the uh, the health and mana regen. He doesn't really need to back. He can just buy the items. This is not but, an uh, ocean Drake. No, it is a mountain Drake. Uh, that is not health and mana regen. <laughs> no, no, no. I I meant Orin was backing. For oh, the I understand. I'm sorry. I I was confused. That's my fault. <laughs> my fault. <laughs> it's like wrong Drake, no, buddy. <laughs> And this Zed is just hitting this tower in the Navy uh, space, clones in, gets a quick couple bits. Zed doesn't even care. No. Nocturne coming down bottom is spotted by a ward in lane, so no ga lane gank. Yeah, uh, oh, wow. The uh, red team managed to p uh, ping the ward that was in that bush that they got spotted by, but uh, I don't Zed think they have a knocked up, fire breath, gets the clap third of his health all gone but he's gonna have a big shield here with a lot of true damage coming through they are committing to this fight for now yeah. is it oh okay we're gonna do that okay. so that was a classic sort of bruiser tank fight hopping and not a lot happens unfortunately a clap onto the set and Orin flashes kind of early, does avoid the set grab, but gets out. And then we are seeing a 2v3 here. Amumu finds a good ultimate onto Nocturne and the Blitz. The ult comes out from Jinx, the ult comes out from Rand and from Senna. Now Set's chasing this Orin, gets the stun, but Set may well die. Senna heals through the Zed ult, and Set turns the kill onto Ooh. the Orn, and um. oh my goodness, that gets out of tower range and gets the kill with the clone through the center root. Now that is good gameplay right there, and this said is six and one at 14 minutes and quick becoming a problem. That was a good, that was a good route, but uh, managed to get the uh, 
just got the W off in time, and we yeah. only see the Ocean Soul, which is really good for both teams here. Uh, but, oh my goodness, and I don't quite know what happened at the end of that fight top lane, but geez, that set was low and managed to find the kill onto the Ornn anyway. All right. Oh, that oh, Zed damage is just so high. Now I understand why they've been banning, banning Zed. They get the egg out, and he just backs out under tower. He's a little low, but it just doesn't matter. And, yeah. you know, props to that Amumu in that jungle fight. He got the Q and didn't immediately ult. He sort of repositioned, making sure he would hit as many people as he could. And Chuki from the bot lane with that ultimate in that last fight in the in the enemy's red, in the CMU's red side, or blue side jungle, it just got it done. And then, oh my goodness, oh, he does have nice. to flash for this. He may die to tower. He oh. gets out just in time. The Nocturne committingly ult to kill the Zed. Get that shutdown gold. Get that problem off the map for 30 seconds and see what we can do to stabilize that mid lane position. Now, I think uh, I think there are the Blitz is here uh, also because he wanted the Senna to get the solo XP from farming herself. Potentially, and he finds the hook onto the Amumu, gets the ult off, finds the stun onto the Jinx, but they can't quite follow up here. Uh, and Brand may just die to this Senna. That auto does so much damage. He drops the ult. It doesn't matter. They both back out extremely low. Senna gets the tower. Amumu, half health, fighting this Nocturne, flashes out of the fear. And Nocturne just going to turn back and take the blue. Yeah, he's going to. No, he's not. He's going to oh. get caught by the set. The ult comes out from Jinx. Not enough. Damage. Oh, we missed. The Orn goes in late, and the Zed here to clean up. The Orn going in after his jungler leaves. It's gonna get him slowed by the zap and killed here by uh, the Jinx and the set. We find the Zed ult. The spell shield from Nocturne comes out a little too Man. late and Zed finds the kill. Oh that my goodness, that was an unfortunate series of communicative errors from CMU. I don't know what the communication was like. I don't know what was happening there, but the Orn going in so late was unfortunate. Uh, and was. then the rotation... This the, is a, uh, three different players from NJCU, but the rotations were still there. You the, know? Uh, the counter engage from Set, uh, ulting the Orn back. That was and really the rotate well from mid Zed. I mean, that's just good League of Legends. That's just, just team. You know, that's they, good rotations. Yeah, they split the chase too, sending the uh, the Set, uh, the yep. Set towards the Orn and the Zed towards the Nocturne, being able to yeah. finish them both off instead of tunneling on one or the other. Absolutely. And Orn does teleport top to save his tower there, which is a smart move. Uh, you don't want to give that up too early. <laughs> oh, we got our fancy timers now. You see that? I did see it, and I am happy about it. All right. So Ocean Soul's coming up uh, in a bit, in a bit. Um, I'm pretty sure. I, th I actually think it serves um, Get the CMU. The Let's flash hooks. Oh my goodness, the Anivia wall. We get the heal. We get the Nocturne ultimate and the Senna ultimate committed to this kill. Nocturne taking tower, fear breaks, gets the heal from the Senna, but they just decided that that Jinx was going to die. They committed two, three ultimates. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't really count the Anivia ultimate because of the cooldown, <laughs> but they committed yeah, technically but... four ultimates and a flash to that, and that yeah. is just a dead Jinx. Oh, Finding man. the Zed onto tower doesn't get the immediate knockup. Senna does get the auto attack off. You can't clone out of that one. But the brand ult is finding so much damage in that team under tower that they cannot really chase after the next kill. And then Senna heals a bunch. That's exact. That's exactly what you want to see from CMU's comp. The, the pick, the, the, the grab with the hook and lock them down. They're Absolutely, off of that Anivia stun, that Q. You want that blitz hook, you want that nocturnal, that fear, you want that in there to make sure that that kill is secure and that the other team, NJCU, is fighting a player down for how, like 30 to 40 seconds. And then the Zed gets caught under tower by the blitz hook and the Sen auto just cleans it up. I believe Orange just flashed uh, away from the set. Yes, uh, he did. Okay, and that was likely <laughs> just to avoid you know, this Blade of the Rune King on set is going to hurt this Orn a fair amount, and, you know, he just it doesn't is... want to deal with it. His oh, no, jungler's no, bot lane, has... everyone else's bot lane, like, they're just not yeah. there. Orn, Orn now has the Sunfire, uh, so he could probably fight the set much easier, being set yes. does not have the Mythic. He went straight for the Blade first. Absolutely. 
Wait, you blade of mythic? Don't remember. But I don't the blade think it is. is probably. I mean, he's still doing a lot of damage. Gets the ult off, and then Orin looking for the counter ultimate oh, misses the ultimate and then dies to the W. And they're just gonna clean up that Anivia egg. That's just breakfast around here, says the Jinx, and just <laughs> cleans it up with the auto attacks. I'm pretty sure uh, NJC is gonna get the mid tower off of that. Most certainly, uh, it was already pretty low, and then blows the flash. Oh, Nocturne ults for the re-engage, ulting out of it. Zed dashes away. The ult isn't gonna find enough damage. Oh, but the fake out. But Senna's so fast and her range is so long that it does not matter. The Senna just gets the kill, and now Brand is in an unfortunate position. He's tagged by Nocturne, so they can see him. They Blitzcrank is not gonna be able to defend against that set. And Set is just going to get a tower and a little bit of free damage onto the Bliss Crank. The Rift Herald oh, takes that. mid inhibitor tower. They got two or three towers there, finding the Sun of the Nocturne, the shield from the Senna, the ult from the Amumu locks ulti. him down, the Jinx ult. They're looking for the Amumu kill. The Orn and Senna are chasing. They find the hook onto the support, but oh my goodness, the damage. Jinx going for it, but not quite enough for a, a full wow. wipe, but they do get the 1v1 off that. Despite the Senna's healing ability, the Jinx finds the damage, and they get that trade. Yeah, uh, once once the once the Jinx got her uh, her movement speed and attack speed from the kills, it, it's very hard to deal with her in a in a regular fight. I don't think uh, she would be able to be as strong fighting the Senna, but because of the buff, uh, she was able to effectively deal with them. Absolutely. And even though she dies to the Senna and the Orn doesn't and the Orn does live at full health, the oh Nocturne ulting onto the Zed. Is he gonna be able to get out of this? Zed ults the Nocturne, but it is not quite enough there. Nocturne finds the ult into fear, into autos, and just gets that damage through. That is the danger of this Nocturne. Your carries are not safe. If he finds them, he has uh Blade of uh, Drakthar, he's got uh Edge of Night. He has the uh, raw lethality to be able to put out a huge amount of damage in a short amount of time. Uh, Especially with the Edge of Night as well to keep him safe oh, just for did, the first ability. Just dodge it. <laughs> oh, Blitz flashes the wall. He needed to get out of that situation. He would have died in that 1v1. Anivia takes a tower mid, getting a little bit of pressure back on the map. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you are excused. <laughs> what if I was like, no? Like, no uh, way. I don't know. I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> uh, again, I think I think CMU just has to play for picks here. Again, they're they're, they're losing the pressure that that's oh so important to pick comps. And it's so hard to team fight into an Amumu brand. Your team's yeah. locked down, and there's just that bouncing fireball going all over the yeah. place. The uh, the brand ability now only goes five times, but <laughs> I think it does. It's still a lot, don't get me wrong. And he has the Leandres too, with the Sork Shoes for extra magic pen, means more damage coming through, ignoring some of that now, uh, magic resist from the enemy team, which I, I wonder if he's gonna, any I wonder them. if he's going to go the second burn item, the, uh, the dot item. I, I imagine that's what he's going to go. We do go. see some pings on Baron from NG, NJCU. I, want, I, don't I don't know if doing it right now it. would be a good idea, but maybe try he, to bait someone into coming to check. That, I think, is where the, the, the strain that would lie. Set with teleport up is split pushing bot lane. They dodge the blitz hook, but Jinx oh, standing in oh. the front in vision gets Nocturne ulted, flashes out, Orn ult coming in. So low on the brand, Nocturne dies for the brand, Amuma pushing through, Orn dashing through, killing the Jinx, and dying to the burn. Oh my oh, goodness, what seemed like such a good team fight for CMU up the start with an ultimate pig onto the Jinx does not get the Jinx kill until quite late, and the overcommitment from CMU leads them to losing four members in what should have been an easy pick, or at least an easy blown flash and walk away. CMU just didn't have the damage. Uh, they did not have not the there. damage. Uh, once all their ultimates and abilities were cast, they, they could auto attack, but... Other than uh, absolutely, and the Orn had to dive so deep just to secure the Jinx kill. Exactly. And, and uh, at that point, you had the Amumu damage ticking. You had the Zed there. The Brand ultimate got off. The Brand AOE damage 
all the Leandri's taking on a lot of these like Orns and Anivia's these 10 characters, it's just not enough. We find the root here onto the Zed, Fear following it up, ulting onto the Senna, and unfortunately level oh, one baby wow, slime is gonna it. die, but he does get it with the ult pop. Senna goes down to the execute. That is he, incredible damage. Oh, we find another ult onto the support, into the pull, and that is another pick. Now it is two players down for NJCU, one player down for CMU, and a dragon up for contest. Are they going to be able to come? Ulting the, the Blitzcrank? Absolutely. Oh my oh, goodness. The ulting, set ults the Blitzcrank into the Anivia, chunking them. Orn teleporting in. A Mumu and drinks for the follow-up damage. Orn is just going to go down here, but that was a beautiful set ult that just allowed them to win that team fight. Nocturne was not in position to assist. He was farther back than his tank and his uh, mid lane mage. And following off of that set ult, they were just able to do so much damage to that Anivia so quickly that she could not burst anyone. And the Orn quickly follows off the teleport into death and that blitzcrank of course died when the set initially ulted now again we see the issue of uh, uh, of uh, the santa just wasn't there they didn't have the damage they used their abilities their abilities were able to kill one person senna getting chased here by zed and amumu heals out of it with the q and the heal enough oh. but the Chu ult from chuki finds the kill nocturnes on the run flashes the wall they're going to chase this Zed jumps the wall dodges the fear and now Nocturne is deep in the enemy jungle. He finds the blast code out to river, gets the speed boost from his Q, but we have a set and a Zed running at this enemy jungler. Zed dashes towards him and he is going to die here. He is going to ult to try to get a kill, but cannot find it. And Chuki uh, and Amadeus Beans have just begun to take the Baron. That is unfortunate for Nocturne. They they're just they, this Baron. They're gonna melt this Baron. The Senna very nearly got out, but the Senna going down there is 10 of the 17 kills on CMU out of the fight. It yeah. is a huge amount of the gold and the sustained damage that they need to win these fights after oh, the initial that was Earth phase. Goal. Good hook from the uh, Blitzcrank. Zed ulting, of course, Set does kill the Orn on top. Set is going to, Zed did die, and then Set is going to fall here as well, and the Senna is going to get that shutdown gold, getting even more money for herself, which is good for her if she is with these team fights. Jinx is pushing mid with these inhibitor, uh, with these barrened up minions, dropping a warn for later, and she is now in a 1v4 position that she just cannot win. Yeah. Uh, and I that just is. I don't know if the inhibitor uh, was with the, uh, a third person being dead. It, but, uh, well, I don't know up. either, there, but... There's nothing up for CMU to take, so maybe maybe it was worth it. It's not like they can really get anything off of it right now. That's but, fair, um, but, you know, we, it's, uh, we, it's a hard call to make, but... Mm -hmm. we, we keep seeing from CMU the, these great fights with their all of these fantastic ultimates that they have. But if and the, the Senna isn't, just isn't there, there... If the Senna is not there, they don't have that sustained damage, because NJCU is getting the Anivia killed, so they're not standing in the Anivia ult. The Nocturne does not do that much damage outside of the burst phase. Yeah, and... And, and oh, so Anivia much... flashes here. Great stun, buffering really uh, the ZW, so the Zed cannot attack her out of the clone. Now, with so much gold on one person on CMU, it, it usually seems okay, but this Senna has been out of so many fights that it almost it, it's almost a, a negative that that Senna has so much gold. She's uh. She's well, just we should not also she... look at the builds, right? Our Senna here has four items in boots, but the next highest player has three items, two items, right? Things like yeah. that. We do see the Zonius here, but that burst from Zed is absolutely ridiculous, paired with the brand, and they are just going to blow that Senna up. 12 of 20 kills off the map for CMU, and NJCU is sieging this bot lane tier 2 with barrened up minions and 4 players at it. 5 NJ players at it. Yeah, NJCU is just targeting Nocturne the right ult people. onto the brand, and the brand ult, oh my goodness, oh, the brand ult coupled with the AoE damage from Amumu, who did use his ultimate, and the uh, set ultimate, which was very recently used and the, the aoe damage from the jinx auto attacks with her rockets just tears through cmu here we talk of, you know a lot of sports 
they talk about momentum and NJC you had a lot of momentum coming into this game and despite the early start uh, the early rocky start the early good uh, play from CMU NJC you brought this back with again what they showed us last game incredibly strong rotations and team play Senna chewing through two players life bars yeah. but it's just not enough and now they have a Nocturne, Anivia, and a Blitzcrank to defend Baron is gone Blitzcrank is going to die to the Jinx Nocturne caught in the Jinx trap just dies oh, to the auto attacks and Anivia falls next this is GG's from NJCU a 2-0 victory against CMU what those were good those were good games that that was hype the and even towards the end there we saw the Senna so much damage but just wasn't there at the right times just wasn't there when they needed when they needed absolutely it not and uh I believe those are our games for the day. Or it's just a best of three, right? Yes, it is. Well, um, thank you. Uh, that'll conclude our one match for today. And if you did enjoy watching this match, uh, make sure that you follow NJCU Esports on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter uh, for updates on when these games will be happening. Uh, again, it's at NJCU Esports on Twitter, mm -hmm. on Instagram, and on Facebook. And if you're watching this on Twitch, then you can just click that little follow button right below your video. And just good games tonight. They were fantastic. They're, they're, yep. Both teams played well. We saw mistakes from both sides, which is good. You don't you don't want stomps on both sides. The first game, a little more of, of a stomp, but it, it's about making the best of a bad situation in the early we saw that they were behind uh, or njcu was behind but they focused on getting the objectives the things that helped the team and the not team just play, one yeah. person and of course we can't fault cmu here they put up a heck of a fight in that second game yeah and they were second... not giving up that nocturne was always alting the zed always alting the brand the senate not the senate the jinx they were constantly trying they had their plan for picks and they were they never gave up trying to execute it it just didn't pan out but yep, yeah keep going. It, no no please no no you go okay uh it was just target selection uh a lot of the time yeah uh, and like you mentioned the senna just not being at some of those critical fights or being a little too late was just unfortunate and the zed's ability to pop that senna so quickly uh in yeah. the mid to late game there was a, there was a lot of damage on both sides, and I I, I think CMU um, just need needed to have the center in the right places. Uh, and it, again, going back way all the way back, maybe bringing the TP, something like that, you know. Absolutely. But uh, both sides played very well, and yeah, uh, I think and both of them should be proud of how they played. Yeah, that was really well done. They gave from both us sides. two entertaining, great games of League of Legends from both sides. But like we said, that'll conclude today's match with the final score being uh, NJCU 2 and CMU 0. And we hope that...